Hi guys, so I'm going to walk you through how to make an MLA formatted works cited page. Um, all an MLA uh, cited uh, works cited page is, is a way for you to tell somebody where you found your research in a very specific format. It's not a bulleted list of titles, it's a very specific format to explain where you found your research, the authors, the titles, when it was published, and where. So um, first thing you have to do is go to a blank, piece, uh, a blank page, I'm on Google Docs right now, and just type the word works with an S because you're citing more than one, cited. Put it in the middle of the page, do not underline it, do not put it in bold, just works cited. From there, push enter, and then go all the way to the left again. Okay, so now we're going to make our properly formatted citations. And to do that, we're not going to go and like make life difficult for ourselves. We're going to go and use a website that will do it for us. So I like to use citationmachine.net, which is right here. If you Google citation machine, this will come up for you. We at Timber Creek use MLA. These are different formats. Right here, we use MLA. So just click on MLA. That's going to bring you to this page, and it broke. It breaks down... Um, all the different types of sources you could be citing. Today, I'm going to be citing two websites. <clears throat> they are not databases. They're not journals. They're not movies. Um, so I'm going to click on website. From there, I'm going to go to the website. I'm going to cut and paste the URL. I'm going to go back to Citation Machine. I'm in autofill mode. That means it will find a lot of the information for me. I put the URL in here and I say search websites. Now Citation Machine is searching the internet for that specific site that I used. Found it. I click select. Now it says here's what we found. It found all of this citation information. It could not find the publisher or the date published, which is fine because I've already looked and noticed that they don't have that. So from there, I'm going to click final step. That's going to bring me here. From here, you have to double check and make sure your article, your article title matches up with what it actually is. Okay, it does. Um, it says there's no author, which I already know that. I've already checked. There's no author. Um, the website title. Okay, that's right. The URL is right. Now you have to click create citation. From there, it's going to give you the citation that you need already in the proper format. You don't have to do anything extra. Just highlight it and then cut and paste it into your works cited page. Ta-da! Super easy, right? But the only thing you have to do in addition to this is you need to get rid of, see how it's like highlighted in that yellow? You need to get rid of that. So you have to come here, highlight, and click none. Ta-da! And then you have to make sure it is in 12 point font. You could either go with Arial or Times New Roman, whichever, it doesn't matter, but it has to be one of those two. I like Arial. Um, then you have to do reverse indentation. And what that is, is you have to do that. You have to make it so that the first line is all the way over to the left and the second line is tabbed in. Okay, you also need to make sure your whole thing is double spaced. So see how I just spaced out work cited in here? Now it's double spaced. This is double spaced. And again, I indented here because this is the second line of the citation. You leave the first line over here. Okay, really easy, right? So now we're going to do another source. <clears throat> oh, also, don't let it make this blue on you. Okay. Um, because it's trying to turn it into a link. Don't don't let it do that, okay? Um, so, clear formatting. We have to move it back over. Doop, doop. Okay, here we go. Now on to our second source. I'm going to use this source. Again, I'm going to do the same thing I did the first time. I'm going to cut and paste the URL into Citation Machine. Again, I'm going to click on MLA. I'm citing a website again. I just cut and pasted the URL from here, right over here, and then I want to click search websites again. It's already found the website I'm using. I check, it's right. I click select, and now it's telling me again, it found all this information for my citation, but it couldn't find this. Um, 
And I'm going to go look and see, okay, yeah, there's no, there's no date here. We have 2014 at the bottom, but nothing more specific than that. So final step, again, I'm going to click here and make sure all this looks right. Um, I saw 2014, so I have to manually type that in and then create citation. And again, it's going to give me exactly what I need right here. So then again, I'm going to highlight and then I'm going to cut and paste it over here. And again, remember I said you can't leave this like yellow background. You have to highlight and click highlight and none. And there you go. Now again, you can't leave it like this. You have to do reverse indentation. So to do that again, you press enter and tab. You see how this looks here? So this one is first. This is your second source. The second line of each source gets tabbed in. Okay. Also, your works cited page needs to be in alphabetical order. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So see, this is wrong because your H source has to go before the I source. So you're going to do this. And then you're going to put the I source right underneath it. Duh. And there you go. Make sure it's all in either Arial or Times New Roman, whichever one. You got to stick with it. And 12 point font. Ta -da. Now this is two sources. Make sure that you know how many sources are required for your specific project. It's going to be somewhere between um, three and five. So make sure that you check the specific project instructions, but that's how you do it. It's super easy. Don't mess it up. When you go to cite these sources in your actual project or paper, it should be the first thing listed here. So if you go to cite this source in your project, you're citing what I just highlighted. If you go to say, cite this source in your project, you will cite that, okay? All right, super easy. Uh, I'll see you in class.